Welcome to the Apex Rack Repair app, an easy-to-use step-by-step pallet rack damage assessment tool that captures everything you need for rack evaluation and repair. Here's a quick video walkthrough of an upright damage audit. Start your inspection by completing the simple contact form. Remember to include the email for your warehouse or customer contact. You will also be given the option to resume a previous audit by selecting it from the saved audit list. As you look for damaged components, be sure to fully inspect up and down, front and rear, as well as flue space for proper clearance or safety concerns. Once you find a damaged location, refer to the app to select the appropriate item, upright, beam, beam safety or connector, or anchor. In this case, we will select upright. Provide the damage location by entering the pallet rack row and bay on the app's rack location screen or by scanning the barcode closest to the damage. You will then indicate the side of the bay where the damage is found. If you choose to scan the barcode, make sure to verify that it pertains to the location you are auditing. If there are any questions, please confirm with the warehouse contact. Now you're ready to create your damage list. Take up to three photos of the rack damage. The first photo should show the upright and first beam level from a distance to get a good image. Second photo should be up close showing the damage clearly. The third photo should be any additional details needed, such as back of the column if damaged, foot plate issues, connection to beam, column guard, etc. Note, each damaged location must be recorded as a separate item. You can also use the third photo to capture the barcode in case it doesn't scan properly for some reason. Click Continue to submit. We use the following screen to gather additional upright and damage specs. First, select the bracing type at the top of the screen. Next, identify all damage locations using the Touch Where It Hurts diagram. Make sure to select above the beam on the diagram if the damage is located higher than the first beam level or above any beam level. If the front and rear column are both damaged, you will be asked for the measurements of both. This screen captures the height where the damage ends. You will need to measure the highest damage to both the front and rear upright. First, look at the back of the column to see if it is pinched and note where the pinching ends. Second, if the damage is up to a beam, measure to the top of the beam. Third, measure to where the upright stops bending. Indicate the height measurement at the bottom of the screen. Using the chart provided in the app, select the column style that matches the damaged column. If you select a column with a seismic backer, you will be prompted to provide backer location details. Backers are essentially two columns, attached back to back for greater impact resistance and capacity, as well as to reinforce the frame against seismic activity. You are now ready for more measurements. You'll need the full depth and width of the rack upright and both the depth and width of the front and rear columns. All dimensions are clearly shown in diagrams within the app. Next, measure 18 inches up from the highest damaged area and count the number of beams and struts included below this point. You will also need to provide the specs for beams located within the damage area. Measure from the floor to the bottom of the beam bracket and from the floor to the top of the beam. These measurements are required for each beam below the damage area indicated on the previous screen. Details regarding the upright struts and backers are next. First, measure from the floor to the first horizontal strut and from the floor to the first diagonal strut. If your upright has seismic backers, you'll be prompted to provide the depth and width for both front and rear backers. Now, select the type of strut and measurements. The app will guide you through your selection. Using the column punch style chart, select the type that matches the damaged upright. Your final measurements are of the foot plate. Using the diagram on the app, provide the needed foot plate measurements. Lastly, select the appropriate rack colors from the options provided in the chart. At this point, the audit for this location is complete. You can add another location to your damage list by using the plus button in the bottom right corner. If the damage is on the same upright type, you can choose copy measurements from a previous item. This will copy over all the safe measurements. You will still be required to enter your location, damage photos, and damage height measurements. Before submitting your audit, ask your warehouse contact to confirm approval of the inspection by signing their name on the provided field on the app. 
Once you hit the final submit button, your audit is in the hands of the Apex Rack Repair team, who will be in touch with recommendations for rack repair or replacement. Your warehouse contact will receive a damage summary for their records.